wines. These but, are the uh, only five wines you need for the holidays. And this is a, a, a battlefield that we're a little bit more versed in than bourbon. Um, for those of you at home who don't know, uh, Renee and I actually have our own wine label called Bucanet. But because it's only available in Louisiana, Alabama, and South Carolina, we are going to keep it out of the five categories here. So we're going to run you real quickly what these five wines are. So number one, Renee, it's the first category. It fits the bill. It goes with all foods. So very food friendly wines. Okay. This, I'm, oh, I'm going to go all through five. Okay, then gotcha. You go. Second, your crowd pleaser. You know, maybe you're walking into a big group or have a large family gathering. Just a wine that you know is going to do really well with everybody there. Third, the wine to drink while cooking. Okay. Fourth, a gift-giving wine, maybe a white elephant, or uh, you're, you're just handing out wines to associates or people you don't like. Right. Uh, and then fifth, we'll go with New Year's Eve. And I want to stress that most of these wines are all values. All of mine are under $20. Okay. Um, you know, this is always a little fun game to play. I think it's way more interesting than trying to actually pair specific wines with specific foods. Oh, definitely. So I'm going to lead off with something, a little a little wild card. All That's right. But category one. If category one fits the bill. My selection, I went to Spain this summer, had a wonderful time, and basically could not stop drinking vermouth no matter what I was eating. So Spanish vermouth, it's easy to find if you know where to look, uh, but it just has this kind of herbal Fun quality, pour it over ice, a big slice of orange, maybe an olive, and you can sip on it. And it's basically going to go with anything from ham to seafood, you name it. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm along that line of thinking. I'm thinking about hams. I'm thinking about turkeys. I'm thinking about anything that can possibly be on a Christmas table. So I actually had to pull two things okay. because there are two, thing, two types of foods in very different uh, departments. Him and I, we both do Chinese food for Christmas. A lot of people in New Orleans, and I'm sure they do it in y'all's hometowns as well. Um, and there are kind of different wines that mm -hmm. go with Chinese than those traditional holiday foods. So for my first pick with your more traditional foods that go with everything, it's your St. Cosme Coderone. And I think that Coderones, this is actually not the, the standard uh, St. Cosme, but pretty close. This one's actually $22. The standard St. Cosby is about uh, 17 to 20. Uh, anything Grenache, Syrah, Mouvedre is going to go fantastic with foods. Just a fantastic value wine there. I kind of recall one time when we were uh, eating lunch with an editor of Wine Spectator, we were talking about value wines, and he said that St. Cosby was his favorite food value wine. I believe that. Now, if you're going Chinese, you got to go Riesling. Yep. And it's not even summer of Riesling. We're in the winter, and I'm going to put this Chateau St. Michel dry Riesling. It's important that you get dry Riesling or Trockens if you're drinking German Rieslings because they'll be too sweet otherwise. Uh, absolutely fantastic with Chinese food. So that's my kind of my All right. part of going Asian. What, uh, what is your crowd pleaser? Well, I'm, I'm actually staying with Chateau St. Michel, okay. and I'm going with their uh, Columbia Valley uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. You can find this one for $15. Wine enthusiasts last year named it the number one value uh, wine on their top 100. I think I've been drinking this for the last 10 to 15 years. Uh, we source our Syrah out of the Columbia Valley. Mm -hmm. It's just really underappreciated, underrespected uh, area for all kinds of red grapes. And it's, it's not those big bombs you're going to get out of California that I know we don't really appreciate, but everybody in your crowd, if they're eating or just sitting, is going to enjoy this Shadow St. Michelle capsule. Perfect. I think nothing kind of makes me feel a little bit more holiday-ish in the wine world than Bordeaux. Now, you might be saying, I can't afford Bordeaux. You can't afford like 20 Bordeaux that are made. The rest of them, you can find some incredible values. This is Chateau Bernadotte. Um, it's going to be a blend of mainly Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. Uh, it's going to be made very close to where a lot of very expensive wines that you and I can't afford are made. But this thing comes in under 20 bucks. 
Uh, it's just very, readily available. Readily available. Very smooth drinking. It's got a little bit of age on it, so you can kind of pop this out, and people are going to go, "This is the 2016." They're going to say, "Wow, this nice old wine. He must have really, really done well this year. Gotten that big Christmas bonus." You don't have to tell them. You don't have to tell them you're struggling. You just got to show them the board. Yeah, we're in a recession. Come on. Yep. That's why we're going value here. All right. The third category is wine while cooking. And this is an important one. I think that wine while cooking is as important as uh, wine while eating. And what you're kind of looking for, or what I'm usually looking for, is something a little bit more lower in alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, most people are going to drink white wine, but I'm kind of the reverse. I like to start with red wine and then go to white wine as okay. my finisher. Um, so I'm going to go with Louis Jadot Beaujolais Village. This, is, this costs $12 with tax. And a lot of people are going to sit there and go, oh, I don't know about Beaujolais. And, and a lot of people even, you know, they like to trash Beaujolais Nouveau, but I think that's fantastic too. Um, Gamay is a great grape, grape that a lot of people overlook, and this is just a great palate starter. It's a light wine, sometimes 12.5%, 13%. This particular bottle is 13%. Awesome to get it going. Yeah, put a little chill on that. You can drink it with that. Absolutely anything. put the chill on it. I'm, go, I'm staying, I'm realizing I've got a little theme going here. I'm going up a little bit in size. So you're cooking, and you're probably going to have people coming in and out offering to help. Uh, so I love... I've started really loving liter bottles of wine, and I love this Gruner by Brune. This 12.5% alcohol, super crisp, mineral. It's very easy to drink, and you can kind of slug this wine. Completely agree. Without getting too... And, and the other thing is, if it happens to be warm where you are on the holidays, this works. If it happens to be cold, this works. I love this wine. Yeah, uh, I'm with you on the liter bottles, too. Also, because I get to tell my wife that I just drank one bottle of wine or maybe two, but she doesn't need to know T that they're I mean, leaders. telling the truth to your loved ones is, yeah. is very important around the holidays. All right, let's go into gift giving. And I'm going to do kind of two categories on this one as well, just because uh, I'm going to go a value pick and one that's a little higher. And we were thinking the same way. So I'm going to start with a great value and something that a lot of people aren't drinking and taking appreciation to is just Spanish wines in general. Uh, I love Borsal. This is uh, Tres Picos. This is 100% Grenache. I that means three Picos. Uh, and I'd have to uh, yeah. Google it, but uh, fantastic Grenache. It's going to be amazing with any kind of food, great with hamburgers and great to stand alone. I think that your guests will be impressed because they'll be like, oh, you know something fancy. It's mm, Spanish. Tres Comas. Yeah. And then I'm going to go your route. If you're really trying to impress somebody, I think you go vermouth. And uh, you really can't go better than the Carpano with the vermouth. Um, that, that person's going to know you care. For about $60 a bottle here, this one's more 15 to 20 All right. <laughs> I'm sticking in the liters. I picked this one. Funkenhausen. First of all, I think the name is going to be fun at like a white elephant. It is a Malbec blend from Mendoza. Mm -hmm. It's going to be bright peppery. It's going to have some good fruit. It's just a very easy drinking wine, but really everyone's going to want to take home the Funkenhausen wine. And that's what I thought. Yeah, I get it. And it's, uh, it's also like $16.99 a bottle. If your house isn't Fun Funkenhausen, then yeah. you're in the wrong place. And our last category is New Year's Eve. And I realized that I had my initial bottle still in the refrigerator. It's a Pierre Star, um, just an absolute great value, Cremont. It's about $20, and you can find it at Total Wine. Uh, it Actually, they recently put like a limit on it because it's just that popular. That kind of shows just how good it is. Sparkling wines, there's so much value out there. Don't get suckered into buying champagne. But for me, this Saint or Saint Hilaire, uh, especially I prefer the rosé, the sparkling wine. It's just an absolute fantastic value, especially if you're doing bulk at New Year's, 15 to $20.00. You're not going to do much better in this. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you can go wrong with champagne. There's some wonderful grower champagnes hitting the market that are much more affordable. But for me, it's New Year's Eve. It's time to break out something special. Uh, I picked a Magnum of old school Burgundy for a couple of reasons. One, I think Magnums always make any party more fun, and that's what you're trying to do on go New Year's Eve. Go big or go home? Two, it's... Pretty old, uh, 1999. I don't even know if I was driving then or should have been driving. So it's got some age. It's ready to, 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 to drink. And New Year's Eve sounds like the right time to open it. And finally, 
The guy we bought this from thinks that this might actually be a fake from Rudy Karanian. Yeah. So um, I kind of think it's time to find out. So it very well could be just Chateau Saint Michel. Yeah. And what better to start, be good. start the new year, start 2023 by being completely let down than if you find out that this bottle was a fake. And I thought it couldn't get any worse. But that's it. You only need five bottles. You can find them here. Well, you brought like seven bottles. Yeah, but you only need five. Okay. Well, what'd you get me? Next time. See ya.